Okay, I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I had this hilarious Mexican slash Italian food joke I was gonna do, but now it's like totally awkward because I don't even know what kind of food they serve in this restaurant. Like not in a bad kind of way, like it's totally all good. Like I hear they're very multicultural. Like what's the word I'm looking for? Italamerispan Mexico? If you despise predictable, then you're gonna love La Vista on the southwest side of town, right outside of the Galleria. Now, there's no set business hours. The owner says if you show up and people are inside, we're open. If you show up and nobody's there, well, try again. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if we can get some food today. Fingers crossed. All right, so La Vista's located near the Galleria, kind of like in the residential side. And of course, the Galleria is very popular because we get a lot of tourists that like to shop there. But then when you get to the residential side, it's kind of a mix of different cultures. Everybody hangs out in this area. It's a great family environment. Schools here are awesome too. The houses are beautiful. And La Vista is nestled right in the middle of all that action. Okay, so I'm really excited to meet the chef here because I've heard a lot about him. They call him the rebel chef of Houston, the Adam Levine of cuisine, the bad boy Bobby Brown of bacon. Is that too much? Is that too far? Okay, so you don't want to be that guy that shows up to a really cool restaurant and has no idea what to order, right? We're gonna help you out. It's time for the Foodie Five. So the, this is the beef tenderloin that has been since the beginning when I opened La Vista. Uh, it is beef tenderloin, port wine, apricot, cherry sauce, field greens, and roasted potatoes. The, the, the funny story about this is that originally I had asparagus and roasted potatoes, and like my first dish that I ever made, I burned the asparagus, and I was like, oh my God, what do I do? And so I just had some salad field greens on the side and I was like, oh, that looks good with it. So I served that. So the traditional Spanish style mussels is how I learned when I was in Spain from a friend of mine's mother. Okay. And the key, I hate saying this because I'm gonna tell everybody the secret, but the secret with mussels is that you do not tell the secret to mussels. Okay. <laughs> All right, so center cut 12 inch pork chop, chili fried onions, cream cheese, horseradish, mashed potatoes, and a brandy black peppercorn glazed shallot sauce over the... All right, let me tell you something. I didn't something. even think to put all that together. Uh, well, I want to tell you something about these mashed potatoes. You don't even eat them. You just like smear them on your face. I'm going to do that. They're so good. Yummy. I do a bunch of different sandwiches on the menu. Uh, this is my grilled chicken sandwich with a sun-dried tomato pesto. And we do our own homemade focaccia bread. And the french fries, a little bit of drizzled bacon fat. Parmesan, green onions, and truffle oil. We saved the best for last. This is beautiful. I don't even want to eat it. It's it, so good. You need to eat it though. I'm it's really good. It. All right, so so this is a my my mother's side of the family is from South Carolina. Mm -hmm. And all along the coast, from South Carolina all the way to Georgia to Louisiana, everyone has a style of shrimp and grits. So this is a little bit more South Carolinian. Um, and so what I do is I wrap the shrimp with prosciutto and then it's grilled and it's served over polenta. But I do it with sage and parmesan and then I do a Grand Marnier citrus glaze over the top and fried sweet potatoes. And that, yeah, that is, that is really good. Wow, I'm telling you, this food is gonna knock you off your feet. That wraps up this week's episode of H-Town Foodies. Hey, I wanna know which one of those dishes did you think looked delicious? Leave it below in the comments. And of course, if you liked the video, go ahead and click that thumbs up for your girl. So when you're hanging in Houston, be sure to stop by La Vista at 1936 Fountain View Drive and check out the website, www.fatbutter.com. All right, guys, so you know what to do. Click right here to subscribe to our channel. Oh, and by the way, we're looking for a fresh to death hamburger spot in H-Town. So if you have a suggestion, go ahead and leave it below in the comments, okay? Appreciate you. And until next time, I'm Ayanna Mack and you're watching H-Town Foodies.